morning, everybody. It's a Thursday today when I'm filming this. That means tomorrow's Friday. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that exciting? Can't wait to get back home. But we got some trucking to do before then. So we're in Brainerd, Minnesota right now. I have an empty step deck trailer behind me. You don't believe me? Fine. I'll prove it. We're taking this empty step deck. We're going to uh, Minneapolis. There it is. See? Why would I lie to you? Really? We have a load waiting for us in Minneapolis. Shakopee, to be a little bit more specific. That's on the southeast side of the city. We're gonna go pick it up, put it on the trailer, tie it down, and we're gonna pull it back home. And then tomorrow, I'll be back home tonight. So then tomorrow will be Friday. I'm gonna see if I can get one more short one in yet tomorrow. And then uh, we gotta run home. We got some stuff to do. This next month is gonna be a little bit busy. Uh, we got some exciting stuff going on and some stuff to tell you, but I'm gonna wait till I'm at home so I can tell you with Brit. So we got lots to do. So I can't go too far this month. I'll be staying closer to home. It's gonna be an exciting month. Blue's ready to go, let's go. Come on, come on. Lights are on, everything's good. First things first, we gotta find a place to get some good coffee. in time for the parade. That's nice. Lucky us. Well, that was fun. between two and a half to three hours to get to where we're gonna load. stop here on the way down towards Minneapolis. I'll show you sort of where I'm at. Can't really see much, but I mean, there's a store in here and a convenience store. Uh, it looks like this used to be a grocery store, but half of it's closed down. Now it's just a convenience store that's here now. I've never noticed this place here and I've driven past it how many times? I mean, it's not the the, the greatest parking lot here, but it's a it's a parking lot. If you're looking for parking, I bet you there'll be parking here. Let's see, where are we at here? Where are we at? Google, learn me something. Where are we? We are in, wow, what, what is this? We are on Highway 10 in Minnesota, north of St. Cloud, I believe. It's called the Marathon Gas Station in Rice, Minnesota. Right, rice, like the food, rice. 
a little hidden, little hidden stop, and I never knew this was here. And <laughs> they've got ginormous coffees, so they are friends of mine. I needed a coffee so bad. Oh, I guess I didn't need it so bad. I wanted it so bad. I was going through town after town on my way down to where Shakopee now and trying to find a place that had truck parking that I could pull in. All I wanted was a simple coffee. That's all I wanted. No one had truck parking. Every town you go through, no truck parking, no truck parking. Gotta keep going, gotta keep going. Finally, this place popped up when, as I just came around the corner. I've never seen it before, so I took a chance. I said, okay, I might be getting myself into a pickle here. I'm gonna pull into this parking lot. I might not be able to get out. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So I slowly went in. I saw they had diesel pumps. I'm like, okay, good, good, good. So I just went to the diesel pumps. So at least I knew I could get there, right? And then I Googled it and I looked down from above and I saw that there was parking on the south side of the building. Mm! Took a risk and I won. So I, I I parked here, ran inside. I'm like, man, I hope they got good coffee. I hope they got good coffee because this is kind of like a, a, a mom and pop truck stop. Very nice. I mean, nice people in there as well that own it. Uh, doing very well, but I've I've yet to try their coffee. Here we go. Was it worth it? Oh, well, it's hot. That's good. It'll do. It'll do. It's not knock your socks off, but it's also not terrible. So it's right in there with Tim Hortons. <laughs> Let's get back on the road. As long as it's coffee. Let's get everything going here again. Let's get this beast started up. Let's wind her up. There you are, my friend. There you are. Let's go do some more trucking. So I have uh, 11, 12, two and a half hours to get to my shipper. And I'm only about an hour and a half away. But they said if I get there early, there's a good chance I'll get loaded early. shower I've, I've picked up my load in Shakopee I've been go 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 again just like every day lately I haven't had a nice relaxing just go with the flow day in a while it's just been 
We need to move. We need to be there yesterday. Let's go. So I got my new freight. I got the shingles on my trailer. I'm going to show you right away. But first, I've got to get a shower here in Alexandria. I fueled up in St. Cloud, Minnesota uh, for the cheapest fuel along my route today. But the parking lot there is a mess. I don't like parking there if I don't have to. So we just grabbed our fuel and we came down the road about an hour towards Alexandria. And I see this guy beside me. He's going in for a shower too. I better reserve one quick before they're all booked up. I can reserve it right from on my phone in the app. I don't know how many uh, there'll be available here, but just grabbing a shower and then we're gonna head on down the road. I'm hoping to get into Canada tonight yet. If not, very close. I don't have to get into Canada, but I am cleared to cross. If I can, that's amazing. If not, we'll do it tomorrow. Gotta deliver these shingles tomorrow anyways. Uh, this app is taking forever to load. Come on, man. Come on. Well, while that's doing that, I'm gonna have to put my clear lookers on so that I can see what I'm doing when I go inside there. Oh, here we go, here we go. All right, let me reserve a shower. One guest in line. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm second in line then. Shower reserved. I'm in line for shower, so it'll let me know when it's ready. I'm not sure if I can make this app actually ding and like notify me like, hey, your shower is ready. I always have to keep refreshing it and checking it to see if my shower is ready or just go inside and wait there. Because once your shower is ready and it assigns you a shower, you have 10 minutes to get in there before it just gives the shower to the next person in line. So if you miss it and you're not paying attention, you lose your shower and you lose your shower credit. Then you got to go talk to the manager and ask them if they can uh, give you your shower back because you didn't actually use it. And I don't know, you're at the good mercies of whoever's in charge here then. So uh, I've, I haven't missed one yet, but I've gotten pretty close, I think. So I'm gonna actually grab my stuff. I'm gonna go wait inside there so that I'm ready when it's available. It'll only be a few minutes if I'm second in line. I'll show you my trailer here first so that you know what I'm hauling and then I'll go inside. How about that? Huh? Sound fair? Here we are. One, two, three. Well, it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen skids. Sitting at seventy nine thousand three hundred and eighty pounds. Gross. My max is obviously 80,000 pounds, so we're very close to max weights for here in the US. Once we get into Canada, we're not even close to our limits, but that's what's taking us home today. At least the trailer's not empty, right? I'm confusing Karen, my GPS, just a little bit. I've gone off course. 300 meters, turn left on. 45th Street South and then nope. take the entrance to the right into 180 meters. No, nope, I'm going to turn right. We're in West Fargo, North Dakota. We're going to Blue Beacon. I need to get this truck washed. This is my only chance to do it. So it's going to happen. I still haven't gone to the Space Aliens restaurant. It's been like, what, 12... 15, 12 years that I've been wanting to go there. <laughs> this petrol stopping center where the Blue Beacon is, I don't stop here that often. The only time I've, I'm ever really here is just for a quick truck wash at the Blue Beacon, and then I'm out of here. And I don't stay in Fargo for night that often because I'm so close to home, I'm usually, I usually just go home, right? One of these days, one of these days we'll get in there see what it's all about. I didn't even take a peek. Meters, turn right on Karen. 49th Street South. I didn't even take a peek to see if there was a lineup at Blue Beacon. I don't care either way I've got to get the truck washed. Lineup or not. I see from here there's one truck in one of the bays. I doubt there'll be that long of a lineup today but you never know. I've always got to make the entrances to these Blue Beacons all twisty and windy and look at these 
big rocks here because they don't want you to drag your trailer over their grass but you definitely don't want to drag your trailer over those rocks or drive over one that would mess up your truck okay looks like we got one truck in line in both bays okay that's not too bad it won't take us too long it takes about 15 minutes per truck We'll be out of here in probably like a half hour. This feels good to have a clean truck and this is gonna bother me until I replace it oh much better much better all right all right I was super bad I went and got a coffee and they had maple walnut fudge right by the till how dare they they tempt me like that i can't say no oh well we've had enough delays today well not delays we've had enough stops we've had to shower now we've had the truck washed we also stopped to fuel it's time to go the rest of the way let's go Feels so good to be in a clean truck again. Feels so good. How do I get out of here? This way? This way? Yeah, it's this way, right? Yeah, this way. I'm going this way. No more distractions. I'm in Latalie, Manitoba, just over the border. Ran out of hours. So this is where we'll sleep tonight. I'm trying to be quiet because these trucks and these drivers are sleeping here in their trucks. I don't want to wake them up. It's a beautiful night out here. Is that a full moon? Very close to it if it's not. Perfect temperature. And that's the highway right back there. That truck that drove down that way is headed southbound. So that would be northbound. And this 75 highway at the border, about 10 minutes that way, turns into Interstate 29, and that highway goes all the way down to Kansas City. It's a beautiful sound of the tires. Let's listen. That's what I get to fall asleep to tonight. I'm a lucky man. So like I was saying, this is L'Atelier. It's spelt L'Atelier, a uh, French name, L'Atelier. First town into Manitoba, Canada from North Dakota, USA. Fun fact for you, right over here is an arena. Right beside it is a house, it's a newly built house. There used to be an old house there that had just been redone. It had just been re renovated inside and out. And I was thinking about buying it in 2014. Long time ago, long before I met Britt. Uh, it was listed for $80,000. That's why I was thinking about buying it. Super cheap and it's right on the main route that I go past all the time. So I thought it'd be perfect. Truck parking right here, right? You can literally park right beside my house. 
but I ended up not buying it. And someone else bought it, tore it down, and built a new house, so there must have been something wrong with the structure of the house, and that's probably why it was so cheap. Good thing I didn't buy it. I can't really show you here because it's dark. If I remember first thing in the morning when I wake up, I'll be able to show you then. But there's a cement pad right behind that house. And it's a cement pad that would be perfect to build a shop on. You could fit a truck and trailer on it by the looks of it. All you gotta do is put the walls up and the roof and you have a shop. And that little cement pad belongs to the town here. And I had actually contacted the town to see if I could buy that land as well with that cement pad so that I could pull in here with my truck and trailer and back it right into a nice shop which would be in my backyard of my house. But man, life took a different turn. I didn't, I didn't go that route, and I'm very, very glad I didn't, because obviously there's something wrong with the house. The people who did end up buying it just tore it down, even though it was just fully renovated. It looked beautiful, only $80,000. This was in 2014, so even back then it was super cheap. Nowadays that sounds, housing prices have gone off the charts, it sounds ridiculous, right? And 2014 is not even that long ago. It's 2023 right now and I'm filming this, if you're watching this in the future. So uh, anyway, I'm very glad I didn't buy it, because if I had bought it, there's a very good chance I would not have met my wife, who lived in Winnipeg at the time. I had moved out to a town called Marchand, which was east of Steinbach, you know, Steinbach, La Brokery, and Marchand, it was way out in the bush. So I still lived quite a ways away from Winnipeg when I met Britt, but uh, maybe I still would have met her, you know, because we, we met online. Maybe we'll share the story of our, our meeting if we haven't already. I mean, we can go into depth of how we met and our, our early dating days and stuff. Uh, and we could do that in another video maybe, but maybe I would have still met her, but I had bought a house out there anyways, and that's where I lived when I met Brett. And then she moved in with me, and then we got married, and then we bought our like ranch style house on our big property, which was right next door out in the Marchand area there too, out in the bush. Beautiful big property. We ended up selling that place and uh, moving into Steinbach. And uh, that's where we're at currently, right now, as I'm filming this. Hopefully, we won't be there for too much longer. I have a feeling we won't be. Because we're, uh, we've outgrown that house very quickly. We moved into a small house, which was a budget house. We can uh, afford life there. It's practically free, if you think of it, compared to other people's mortgages. It's cheaper than rent, living in this tiny little house. We've been able to save up money really quickly, pay off all of our debts. We don't have any debt other than our small mortgage. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Like, very, very little debt, anyways personal debt other than the mortgage and uh, we've been able to pay that all off and be able to live very very comfortably and we're uh, fortunate but we can't stay in this little house forever we're gonna have to move very soon very soon and because uh, we want to grow our family we have Theo with us now which is uh, I miss him every minute that I'm not with him I can't wait to see him again uh, he's amazing he's Six months old now, over six months old. And we're already uh, trying for another one. We want to have at least another two, maybe another three. A family of six would be nice. That's that's sort of what our, our goals are. Uh, we want to see if we can get to four kids yet. We did start having kids a little later. Like we had Theo when I was 35 already. So I can keep going until I'm older. Uh, my uh, clock in my body is a little bit different than a woman's body because they're different. So we'll see how long we have, but uh, that's, that's what we're shooting for. But even if we just have the one, that's enough too. But if we get more, even better. That's awesome. We'll uh, cross that bridge when we come to it, but we will need a bigger house for that, definitely. So we'll be talking about that in the near future. Probably this weekend when I get home, we're going to address that and tell you our plans and uh, what the future may hold for us. Anyways, enough blabbering here. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me today. It was a fun day. It was a long day. It filled up my whole clock. So, we'll stay here for 10 hours. I, I'm going to stay here for 10. I only have to stop for 8 legally because I'm on the Canadian side of the border. I can stop for 8 and then go. But, 
If I stop for only eight, I'm not gonna be legal to cross back into the US and I might do another run down to Thief River Falls tomorrow afternoon. I don't know, maybe not, but I wanna be able to have the legality to do that. So in order for me to be legal to cross into the US later today, uh, later tomorrow, I guess it's today now, uh, I have to have a full 10 consecutive hours stopped right here. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do that and then I got all my bases covered, it's all good. All right, everybody, you know the drill. Please stay safe out there. Look twice and look again before you cross the street. Please, when you're out there, drive safe. I mean it. Please drive safe. I hope all of you get home safe to your family. I'll see you tomorrow.